Welcome to this Tuesday, Tried on Tuesday, Traveling Young from Prague, Czech Republic. As you can see, we are in the old town square with the tower guy right over here. To one side of me, over on this side, is the astronomical clock. We are not going to be tourists and stand there forever waiting for it to ring. But we have in the past because 18 years ago we were here in 2004 when Maya was just learning to walk. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, you can see maybe some photos of her when she was little old Maya, if you're a fan of art. She's not with us right now, but she was with us then in 2004, taking her first steps around Czech Republic. But what we're going to do is we're going to try three different things here in Prague. We're going to take a little roam around the city, show you some of the highlights, but more importantly, we're going to go to a cheesy medieval dinner. Cheesy touristy. We just think they're fun. Then we're going to go have some beer at a monastery that's not too far outside of Prague. It's basically in Prague, just up the hill close to the ta uh, castle. And then we're going to have a chimney cake, which is a popular dessert here. You see people walking around the street um, eating them here in, uh, in Prague. And it's actually Easter Sunday, so it's super active today, as you can see. Hopefully you can hear me and there's not too much background noise. But anyway, let's go start our tour to find three different things to try here in Prague on this week's Traveling Young. So for this try it, we're in the Czech Republic, which is by all accounts like the highest beer consuming country in the world. So of course we need to have some beer. And we're at St. Norbert's, I don't know if that's pronounced properly, a monastery which has a brewery right next to it. And we read that this is one of the great places to try beer. St. Norbert's not named after Miranda's dragon, Halloween dragon, Norbert. Um, I got the cream ale, and I apologize if it's kind of loud here. We're hoping that this mic setup will help a little bit. I like it. This is nice and, and light. I could probably drink a few of these because <laughs> it's not super high in alcohol content, but nice and light, which is good. After all those heavy Easter beers I just drank not too long ago, it's good to have something nice and light. There's so much happening right now. So um, I'm very lucky. My doctor said that I can have beer if I want to. It won't do any damage. So um, I'm trying this anniversary beer, and this is brewed in honor of this monastery, which I think has been here for 900 years. Um, so we're going to give this a try. It's a classic lager. Oh, it's really good. It's nice and smooth, like not too bitter. I'm not much of an IPA fan, so that's it's nice. This is a lager, so not very bitter, kind of citrusy. Really smooth, though. It's really, really good. Miranda, here we are trying something else in Prague. What are we about to do? We are. We are at Oop Vuka here. I probably said that wrong, but here in Prague, it's one of our favorite things to do. We love to find these kind of, I, he, I hesitate to use the word cheesy, but one of these like unique kind of medieval experiences. It's touristy. It's touristy. It's but that's okay because right now we're tourists. Yes. And it's fun. It's just a fun thing to do with your family. It's super fun. Um, we have no idea what we're going to see when we get in there. But you know what? It's a fun night. So let's go see what Upavuka has to offer. All right, Miranda, I'm swaying a little bit and unable to stand up straight because we just left. 
How was the experience for you? It was so much fun. You know, this was different than the normal, like, kind of medieval time shows that we go to where it's big, like, kind of auditorium, there's horses and all these kinds of This was much smaller, much more intimate, but it was awesome. I had such a good time. You absolutely have to come to this place if you ever come to Prague. It's so much fun. Here, let me hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I need to say, get, I need to say something. You gotta get your views. Hey. It is a super good deal too, by the way. Like it was like 45 US dollars maybe per person. Like I feel like that's like, I don't know, a couple hundred, 300 maybe Danish Krona. And we had like unlimited beard if you can't tell by the fact that I'm struggling to stand up straight. Food and the show. I mean, it's we went to a five o'clock show. So you could do that. Be out at like 7, 17. And then, like, still have the night in front of you if you want to keep going. I mean, super cool. Well worth it, trying it out here in Prague. So now we're gonna try these chimney cakes. And you might be surprised about this about me if you know me. You'd think I'd love the one that has ice cream in it, but because I love ice cream, I also like to bake things. But this chimney cake is so good. When you eat it with the ice cream, you end up not wanting to eat the cake because you're so full. So I want to do the cake justice by having just a little bit of chocolate inside, no ice cream, so I can focus on the cinnamon toasted nut inside this cake, because we did the ice cream one once, and uh, I didn't even eat the whole cake, it was so filling, but, mm. I mean, this is so good, you can't, I would advise not getting it with ice cream, because I bet you'd eat all the ice cream and throw away some of the cake. Okay, um, so I've done some experimentation on this trip, and let's just say that did not end well for me, so I'm back to getting like gluten-free stuff. But they had a gluten-free chimney cake, and I'm so excited, because I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to have one of these. And it looks very good. It's, I think its texture's a bit different than Josh's. It's a little bit harder, but let's see how it's like. Oh. Still so good. Very tasty. Just hits the spot. Perfect for walking, too. Mmm. made it to the end of our trip we've had such a good time it has been such a blast I always love coming to Prague it gets better every single time we come and we always do this we always come to the St. Charles Bridge to get the amazing views of Castle Hill and the city itself and it's just so calming and relaxing um, and speaking of the old city as Josh mentioned at the beginning of the video we have some really cute photos of Maya from 18 years ago when we came here for the very first time and she just happened to be taking some of her her very first steps and we have all these really cute photos of her learning how to walk in Old Town Square um, it is an absolute core memory for myself I, I love it um, whenever we come here to tell her talk to her about how she took her first steps but anyway whenever we travel and go to new cities be it in Denmark be it someplace else we're gonna try doing these things try new uh, flavors new places to go new places to see and share those with you so that if you go to those cities you can also try those things Things. Josh recently did a video just like that. He went to Rome. He tried three different things in Rome and he had a great time. So if you missed that video, you can see it below and we hope to see you next time. Bye.